couple of times in the day. I'm more into like the happy hip hop, like Tribe Called Quest and yeah, and De La Soul and yeah, dudes yeah. like that. They were really yeah, cool. Not her. Yeah. I've just been trying to get MP3s off all my friends. Everything's just oh, online because I want to take the car camping and I want to like go out and like there's probably no reception. This wouldn't be a bad car for camping, would it? This would be an awesome car for camping. Yeah. Seven yeah. Put a boat out the back. Yeah. And tow the boat. Tow, yeah. Yeah. Put a, a lot of room in the back for your gear. Chuck the tent in there. Yeah. Fishing rods. Yeah. Couple of seats. <laughs> off you go. Do you go camping? Uh, you ever no, nah, I'd love to. I'd love to. Because I go hiking a lot. Oh, so yeah. In the off season, I do a lot of hiking. I, mean, I went to Canada last year and did that. Oh, really? Because yeah. I, did, I did Kokoda a couple of years ago. Yeah, so that's one thing I want to do. Um, but camping, I haven't done just because I've been hiking that by myself. I've been doing day trips rather than hot, camping out at night. Um, but You've yeah, done I, a thousand steps? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a ba that's a go to, right? That's yeah. pretty simple. Yeah. yeah, that's a good workout, actually. Do you run it? Yeah, yeah, run it, yeah. Our How many times? Our trainer at the footy club loves it, so we go down there and oh, you do it maybe three or four times for a session. Um, but it, it cooks you, yeah, absolutely cooks you. When I did Kokoda, I it was a last minute invitation. It was like oh, two weeks before we went. Like, do you want to come to Kokoda? I was like, yes. Oh, like, no. We're going in two weeks. It's like, ah, oh, because you've got to, everyone said you've got to prepare for it. Yeah, you've got to plan for it, yeah. But what was I, like, 35, and, and I'm not. I'm not a professional footballer, but I was fine. You were fine with it. Yeah. It was one of the hardest things we've ever done. Yeah. And like, there were some like 45 year old guys who really did it tough. We had two guys get chopped out. Okay. So, and, okay. Like, so it can get serious for yeah, unfit people. Absolutely. Prepared, yeah. I had this real like, awesome peak I could have climbed in Colorado last year. I got up to, oh, you go on your own? Yeah. yeah. Like 127 hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because I, I was in Colorado just training before we started, I was there by myself. And um, there was this peak, I wanted to climb it, and it was unbelievable. Got to a certain point, and I had to, you had to scale these rocks like, around, pretty much, so you had to have your back against it. <laughs> it's just like, nah. Yeah, like, it's like one yeah. fall, yeah. And, the, the, and who's gonna know? Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing that scared me off was the day before someone said, like, someone had to get chopped out. I was like, well, no, I'm not. So no. I just before that. Yeah. So it's not worth it. That's really cool, man. It's better than just running around the pitch every day. Run around the, t the other 10 or something. You do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, no, no, two, yeah, two weeks yeah. over there. It's equivalent to probably about a month to five weeks here. So you just, yeah, you get ahead. Yeah, I read stories about players, like, trying to, asking if they can join, like, NFL teams and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. So we had a couple of our boys last year. They went to, um, there was three of them went on a trip and they went to Dallas Cowboys, um, Golden State Warriors. Uh, they went to Nike Academy. So they did a couple of stuff like that. What do so they do? They just sort of give them a, well, one, they can go for a tour and stuff. And the other one, then they can um, get a training day off them. So they might have like a three or four hour session with them. And they just take them through uh, training of what sort of American athletes do, uh, the NFL players. And, so um, it's it's not like high altitude stuff that you're doing. It's specific. No, nah, like, sort of. They at, might, yeah, they at might the be, stadium or whatever. Yes, yeah, so they might. They might meet um, a guy that's uh, one of the best in uh, sprint technique. They might do some sprinting stuff or one of the best in agility technique, and they go do some agility with him. So we got our trainer at our footy club who we went over with a couple of boys, and he's in sort of consultation with. A um, couple of people over there emailing them saying, look, we've got three players who play professional sport in Australia. Yeah. They want to get some knowledge and they want to train. Um, are you willing to do stuff? And they do it because we do it for, we had Oregon University out here oh, yeah. last year before. Um, and that's, so, yeah, whenever they come out. Did you we, teach them how to play footy? We do, yeah, we try and teach them how to play footy and all could that they, stuff, Could they so. pass and kick? No, they can't. They, they hold the ball at the end of it. So it's like an NFL ball. Because they want to throw it and spin well, it. Yeah, yeah, that and like the punting of the NFL ball. So they can't, yeah. They can't. <laughs> There's a few AFL players that play, don't they? they could, that have converted, yeah. They're yeah, just the kicker? Yeah, Ruckman. Big Ruckman. So right. Mason Cox, Collingwood, the Ruckman. Jason Holmes from America to Ruckman. And what posse are they in, in Gridiron? Oh, oh, they're probably more basketballs even. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I don't right. know about. Well, Gridiron, I'm not sure. Big, maybe probably a big tight end, big offensive lineman kind of thing. I know there's a few, like, leagueies and union boys that, that are just the place kicker. Yeah, see, they... Yeah. Can you imagine that, getting paid a million bucks a year just to go on, yeah. kick it, and then run back off? You're good kicking um, rugby, because they do place kicking, you can, you can convert to the NFL, I reckon. Yeah. But Aussie rules are such a different sport. We haven't really got a type of player that can probably play. Like, right, like you saw Jared Hayne play in the NFL. So he's that running back type, yeah. Rugby players are... How funny was that? It was just like, 
He was the hand plane. Everybody was just yeah. The he was the most pop. He sold the most jerseys yeah. pre-season, and everyone's like, "We love him, we love him." And then just his one bad game, and they're like, "Nah, yeah. that's it's it. Crap, yeah. No, no second chances." Yeah.